You go take your shit to the tailor. What are you gonna do? You gonna go get the little ironing shit and then put your own hem in your own pants? You gonna go get your own pins and try to pin your shit up? See, guys who cheat the game when I was growing up, they wouldn't go buy the polo shirt. They go buy a Hanes t-shirt and sew the damn polo on it. You know if you got the heart of a cheater. And this is going to offend some of you. But some of you guys got the heart of a cheater. You got the spirit of a cheater. Your heart pump Kool-Aid. You want the shit easy. You want it easy. I don't give a damn what your IQ says. I don't give a damn where you at. You want the game easy. You don't respect the game, and the game is going to fuck you up. Because when you get out here and dealing with real ones, when you're dealing with real ones, and the real ones come in all shapes and fashions. See, you used to dealing with real ones that look like you, but real ones that don't look like you are the ones that are going to jack you up because you ain't ready. You ain't ready because you step into that ring and know what you know. You step into that ring and say, I'm a black belt, I'm a, I'm a M MMA. Kimbo Slice took his ass to the MMA. He was a badass street fighter, right? He was knocking niggas out in Miami. He was doing all this other shit. Took his ass to the MMA and got white because he did not respect the game. He didn't have any cardiovascular. He could not grapple. He could not strike. All he could do was punch. And he got knocked out by, some, by, by Glass Joe. A lot of you guys out there don't want to work. You running around here, oh, man, I can just cheat it. You know, I ain't got to, you know, man, I, I borrowed my man's car. You faking, you fronting, that's what you're doing. And when you fake and you front, you die. You fake and you front and you die because you know good and damn well you can't do it. You know good and damn well you can't do it. That's why you need to mark your competition. You need to point out who your competition is. You need to say, that's my competition. You're only as good as your competition. If you're competing with lame niggas, you lame. You can, if you compete in square dudes, you're square. You can compete with knuckleheads, you're a knucklehead. You need to put your competition up here. When I came out into corporate America, my competition was the CEOs. My competition was the guys who were flying first class and making moves. My competition was not the guy next to me, my manager. My competition were the guys who moved in an area I never moved in. And you know what? I had to go learn it. What's a Republican and a Democrat? What's conservative versus? I had to go learn it. While everybody else was out there just taking their base salary and doing what they did, I was in there learning the game because my competition was up there. And when I got my chance to step in the ring with them, personally or professionally, I held my own. I got knocked out sometimes, too, but God damn it, I was in the fight. You know damn well if you're in the fight or not. That's why a lot of guys walk around here with this diminished life. You don't want to go holler at a super bad chick when you see her. Because you know you ain't done the work. Let's just be real. You know you ain't done the work. You see, you see a bad bitch walk by you like, damn. Oh man, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, damn. If you ain't moving to go do something about it, you know you just died. Like shit. Opportunities happen, and I ain't ready. If you in this game, you gonna go holler at her. Opportunity comes along in business. Oh, man, you know, that's, the white man ain't going to let me have it. You ain't done the work. That's why I said you can't cheat this game. The game is going to cost you. You can either pay the cost up front or you can pay the cost every day in your down and your diminished results. You can pay the cost up front or you can pay the cost long term. I want the guys who want to pay the cost up front, who want to get in and do the work and understand, you know what? If I'm going to take this shit to the next level, my best thinking has got me right here. I need something better. I need somebody who know more. Hit the damn like button. I need somebody who know better. I'm going to go have to buy my console. I'm going to have to get some time with this dude. I'm going to do it. You, you one, two dudes, you nickel and dime dudes, you penny ante dudes, it ain't, you got a penny ante mindset, and you want the best in life. Please, stop lying. Just say it. I'm not willing to do the work. I'm not willing to make the sacrifice. I'm not willing to make the investment. I just want to get by and feel good. Guess what? You can do that, fam, and that's completely fine. But stop getting in these comment sections. Stop high side and signifying, oh, man, this is a dope game. Oh, man, I'm going to schedule this. Oh, man, I'm going to do this. Man, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to book that with you. Man, you don't got to do all that. Just sit back and watch the content. But you do all that because you want somebody to see you. Oh, man, yeah, he, yeah. he typed real good. He types a mean game. But what is it out in the world? 
You can't cheat this game. You need to mark your competition, and you got to love the taste of your own blood. you got to learn how to compete. If you ain't never been knocked out, you ain't fault. Let me tell you this again. If you ain't never been knocked out, you ain't fault for nothing. If you ain't never been fired, you ain't never been embarrassed, you ain't never been humiliated, you ain't been knocked the fuck out, you ain't fought nobody. You ain't done nothing. And that just means your heart's pumping that Kool-Aid because you ain't stepped it up. You're still doing the same shit you were doing in elementary or junior high or high school at 40 years old. Why? Because you don't want to lose. No, you don't want to lose, but you're losing every damn day. Don't nobody got to tell you when you're 5'10 and 250 pounds, you're obese. Get your ass in the gym. Oh, man, the white man's measuring standards and body mass index and all that. Nick, when you get your sloppy, wet ass out of the shower and you see yourself in the mirror and you see them titties and you see them stretch marks and all this other stuff, you know damn well I wouldn't fuck me. Then why would you expect her to fuck you? Oh, man, well, let me go ahead and, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a teddy bear. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thick. I'm, I'm big bone. No, you lazy and sloppy. So you like to come on my channel and act like I'm trying to tell you you need to act, play a game. You need to buy some clothes in front. No, ain't no fronting over here. Ain't nothing sweet about what's going on over here. Just because I look cool and got my glasses on, believe me, I'm about that game. Man to man, I can step anywhere with anybody and I will get respect. In my, in my goddamn purse strapped across my chest, in my high heel goddamn boots, in my, in my perfume, but fuck with me. Guarantee, anytime I go, I will go man up with anybody. Let's go, let's go in here and see who can pull the baddest. Let's see who can go in here and get the most contacts. Let's see who can go in here and actually hustle up. Can you do it everywhere you go? Can you go into the hood club or can you go into the country club? I can go everywhere. Why can't I go everywhere? Because I've done the damn work. I've done the effort. I put it in. And that's where confidence comes from. You see dudes who get on here with outstanding confidence like AMS and those dudes, it's because he's done the damn work. It ain't just shit talking. A lot of you guys have only learned how to talk shit. Talk shit and lie. Go into the barbershop. You hear some of the best shit talking, some of the best roasting, some of the best lying, but you can look at how they are moving, and if you're really in this game and at that level, you know what's real and what's fake. You ain't got to call it out, but real recognize real. My question is this. When you going to get tired of lying? When you going to get tired of trying to cheat? When you going to want to do the work? What has to happen? What has to happen for you to decide, you know what, I'm on that bullshit. I, I'm on that bullshit. I, I'm, I'm, really not, I'm not really about this. I'm not, out, I'm not doing it like I need to. And I can't get to the next level. I need to go ahead and take a step out. I need to take some time off and get my game up. The game is going to have its money. The game is going to get paid. The game is going to get paid. You're going to pay the cost. You can either pay the cost up front or you can live the cost every day. But you can't cheat the game. The game is what you got in here and in here. And if you're gonna get if you're gonna get triggered, you're gonna get sensitive, you can find me up in the comment section all you want to. Guess what? I still do what I do. And the dudes who think like I do get their results too. I wasn't born with any of this. I had to learn it, just like everybody else. I had to get out and do the work. I had to put in the effort. I had to sacrifice. I had to stay up, work, invest, all that shit. And if I had to do it, and everybody else I know who's getting the guy to do it, you, I'm a guarantee you, seven, almost eight billion people on this planet, Thousands of years of recorded history, if somebody had figured out a way to cheat the game and get around it, you would know about it. You can't cheat it. So you might as well stop trying. You put, I'm going to say this and I'm going to end it. Some of you suckers put more energy into trying to figure out how to cheat the game than to pay the game.
you put more energy in trying to figure out how not to do the shit than do it the right way. Pay the game. Learn the game. Get in the game. And what you're really trying, what you're really saying is, I know I ain't about it. I ain't willing to do it. So let me just go ahead and make myself feel like I'm doing something. If you're surrounded by cats like that in your life, get them out. Get them out, get them out, get them out. You don't need anybody around you who's going to tell you, man, the game can be cheated. You can actually get through this without having to do it. Man, you ain't got to do it that way. You got to do it this way. Again, look at their life and ask yourself, do you want their life or, and, or do they have something better for you? Bottom line is this. You can't cheat the game. The game will be paid. The price will be paid. What kind of results do you want to have? I want you to have the best results, period. I want you to have the best you can I want you to have the best you can get. But you're gonna pay for that shit. Till next time, peace.